Hi guys, my name is Lally. I'm a makeup artist, a wig maker, a celebrity impersonator. I'm coming to you today with this Lana Del Rey for Skims Valentine's Day campaign makeup tutorial. I was not expecting this. This was not on the tarot cards for 2024, but it landed. It was amazing. It, ah, how good does she look? Oh my god. Who, who expected this? No one. Everything that I have used in this video will be listed down below in the description box as usual. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wanna see what I come up with next. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video and let me know what you think of the Lana Del Rey Skims campaign. Anywho, without rambling on, let's get into it. So I'm starting with the Revolution Pro Blur Stick and I really like this primer. I just think it really does give you that filter effect. I'm going to use Maybelline's Dream Satin Liquid. I think it's called Dream Radiance Liquid now. But I got this one the other day, like really recently from Amazon. I think it was like old stock or something. But my colour is 23 True Beige. And I like to just dot that over my face. No one does this anymore. Everyone just goes straight for squirting it all over their face. I'm old. We don't do this. This is how we used to apply foundation in the 90s and I think 80s as well. And I like to take a dense brush. So this is my favorite brush for foundation. It's a MAC brush, but I don't know if they do it anymore. But you can just use a dense powder brush to do this. I got this Nishka um, Korean Cushion Foundation and I got it in a shade way too light for me, but it works so well as like a highlight color. And I want to do a reverse contour underpaint kind of effect. Overpaint and underpaint, because I know I've just done my foundation, but I'm gonna go over it again. But anyway, I wanna do a reverse contour. But you get this tiniest amount and it goes so far. So you look really good. I find it really hard to use the puffs when I've got false nails on, so I'm going to just switch to the brush. So I'm going to go around the nostril, up to the tip on both sides, because that's where the light hits Lana's nose. Then take it from underneath on the tip, and we draw two lines, meeting that, and then join it to the central line here. And then you go from underneath the eyebrows and meet the line on the bridge, and then fill in between the brows. You see, that's a much more of a Lana nose. Like my nose is a Gaga nose, so I feel like not bad going. You can just get a little bit more on the tip right there. Just do a horseshoe shape on the chin, and I'm just going to bring a little up onto the forehead and beneath the brow, a little up onto the sides of the nose. I'm going to take my little puff again, and I'm just going to do a little face shortening. And now I'm going to take my Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the color medium, and it's kind of very dark in the ca on the camera, but it's it's like a grey shade, like a grey brown, uh, like a cool tone brown. I'm going to take a little flat brush and I'm going to carve out the contour that I've just done, the reverse contour that I've just done. I know it looks crazy right now. And I always need to go heavy on forehead contour because I've got such a big forehead. I was thinking of getting forehead lowering surgery, but then your hairline looks weird for so long. I like to use soft brushes to blend. Like this is like a, bl a blusher brush. I just think it gives such a much more diffused line. And this is where the underpainting bit comes in because you see how that's just like way too heavy to not do something with. So I've used what was remaining on my foundation brush to just blend the contour in. So it just makes my nose look snatched now. We haven't finished, but this is like the base. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder and one of these little triangle sponges, puffs, not sponges, and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. And I'm bringing that around the tear duct. I might as well just do the nose whilst I'm at it. I've been really into Korean makeup lately, so I looked into some Korean eyeshadow palettes and I wanted the, the House Labs new eyeshadow palette, but the pink toned one was out of stock. So I got this instead and it's got really similar colors in it and it's Korean, so we're gonna try it together. Oh, it's called er Erinde, Erinde, er Erind. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will link it as per usual. So I'm gonna take this lightest color and sweep it all over my lid. I'm gonna take this kind of mauve brown shade and I'm going to define my crease. It's really simple, you just literally concentrate it in the crease and then join it to the corner. Now I'm just gonna take uh, Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder and I'm just gonna clean it up and just blend the line so it's not so harsh. I'm gonna go around the tear duct with my pressed powder. Now with a flat brush and that same mauve brown, I'm going to take that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna come away from the lash line when I get to the tear duct and then I can just join that to the wing. 
Now I'm taking Maybelline's Hyper Precise All Day in Forest Brown. I'm gonna see how this fares because it's the right color, but I noticed last time it doesn't really like going over the top of eyeshadow, so we'll see. I might need to switch to a different one. Again, I'm going to come away from my lash line when I'm at the tear duct, and then I'm gonna go close to the lash line as I come and do my wing. Yeah, it really doesn't like eyeshadow. It's such a shame. You know what? The House Labs brown eyeliner was exactly this shade, their felt tip eyeliner, and it's like, oh, I miss it so much. Please bring it back, House Labs. So I just about managed to get the, the line to work on both under eyes, but I'm gonna have to switch to the L'Oreal Infallible Grip Brown Eyeliner and finish off my wing with that. You want to do a very fine line, and then if you look straight ahead, you want the liner to end at the end of your iris. Now I'm taking this Mario, it's the All Lip No Trip Deep Delivery Lip Liner. I'm going to go over the line that I've just done. And now I'm going to take a little angle brush, or you can take a push liner brush, and I'm just going to diffuse that wing. I'm now taking this Rimmel Nude Eyeliner, I forgot what it's called, but it's the Rimmel Nude Eyeliner. So remember where we ended the wing, right here, where our iris begins. I'm going to take this eyeliner and draw from that line around my tear duct. And I'm also going to line the waterline. I'm going to carve out my crease a little more, because I just think it gives more of that 60s vibe. So I like to just get my eyes done as one of my first steps before I continue the rest of my face. But I don't like to do my mascara or eyelashes until the last step because I find like powder gets caught in them so that I move around the face. Now I'm gonna take my NYX powder contour palette and I'm taking this shade which is called Sculpt which is a greyish brown and I'm just gonna go over my contour. I like to go in a little heavy and then again go over that with my foundation brush. And make sure you're not chin strapping as well. My five head. Then I take a fluffy eyeshadow brush to do my nose. I'm gonna take a white eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna draw on the tip of my nose. You know pi, the mathematical symbol? I'm pretty much drawing that on the tip of my nose, like a little Stonehenge. And I prefer to use this than the NYX Jumbo pencil. I just have more control with this. I can kind of sketch it in. And then just around the nostrils as well. And then I take this. It's Magic Casa Professional Concealer Pen. And it's again in a grey tone. I'm just gonna take that up the centre and then I'm just gonna get this tiny little brush to blend everything together. I start with the lightest colours and then I'll do the concealer colour last. Then as a final step for the nose contour is I have this La Vie On Glow palette. Now the reason I love this is because it's got this grey bronzery type shade and because it's iridescent it's going to catch light which means our contour is going to move with us because one of the problems with drawing a contour on your face especially when you're trying to change the shape of your face is that it doesn't move with the light so it's not going to fix the problem completely but it's going to make it a lot more realistic i take my foundation brush and i go over top if i need some more foundation on the brush and there isn't a lot but i don't want to cover what i've just done i just need a sheer amount i put a little on my wrist and i spread it out and then i pick some up with the brush and get more of the excess off on my wrist and then I go over top. I'm gonna to do that to everywhere I've contoured. So you see, it's just a smaller nose now. Now I'm gonna take a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop that all over my face. Now Rimmel's Radiance Brick Bronzer and I'm going to do the perimeter of my face just to warm it up a bit. Now I'm taking Revolutions Blusher Reloaded in the colour Pink Lady. Lana has more of a peachy blush to me but peachy blushes don't really suit me that much so I'm going for a pinky one. And we really wanna get a lot on the apples. So I'm just stamping it on. Then there's some on the chin and some on the top of the forehead. Now I'm gonna finish my eyes. I'm gonna brush my eyebrows, just kind of sideways. I'm gonna take Max Stone and I'm just gonna fill in the brow. This is a lip liner again. I just, I do prefer using lip liners. And then I'm gonna brush through again to diffuse. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna use Maybelline's Surreal Falsies Mascara. And I like to touch the tight line so that I don't have to tight line with pencil when I do this and hit the bottom lashes as well. You know the eyelashes on my left eye are way shorter than the eyelashes on my right eye and I don't know why that is. Now I've got these Eyelaw three quarter length lashes. These ones are 005. I really like the Eyelaw lash glue. I think it's really good. So since I started buying Eyelaw lashes, I've not been buying Lash Duo. So I'm just gonna paint a nice generous coating of glue. And then the easiest way to do lashes is to look down into a mirror and then just drunk them where you want them. And then you use the tweezers to make sure the band is attached and use the end of the tweezers to lift up. I'm going to take L'Oreal's Beige New 630 Lip Liner and I'm going to overline my lips. And then I'm going to fill in the entire lip. 
and now I'm taking MAC lip liner in stone again and I'm going to draw a thin line on the outside of my lip line. You can create a nicer shape with your lips if you keep your mouth closed whilst you do it. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to intensify the outer corners and not the middle. Now I'm taking Rimmel's Oh My Gloss and this colour is My Eternity 260. I'm staying inside the lip line of the brown lip liner and then going over the Cupid's bow. Now I'm just going to set my makeup with Urban Decay's All Nighter. So then you take these little um, hair elastics and I can't open the bag with my nails. You know whenever I put my wig on people are like, oh wow, you look so good and that's because it covers the fact that I've got a giant forehead. And you want to take like a ponytail on each side. It's for the clip to have something to hold on to, otherwise it'll just slip out. Oh, I don't think I've got the colour quite right, but I think this is a better colour for me anyway because it's less red and red just doesn't suit me. I feel like I look more like what's her name from Euphoria, but <laughs> whatever. Sit me sweetie. Not a bad look. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned how to get this Lana Del Rey Skims Valentine's Day campaign look. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see what I come up with next and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next or what you thought of the video or just anything else. And thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. I do honestly feel like I look like Cassie from Euphoria. Is that her name, Cassie? I think it's Cassie. I miss Euphoria, I don't think it's coming back. <laughs>